Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be doing our Easter video. Hi Niall, what's the plan today? So basically, I have um, 12 pieces of paper in here and each one has a number written on them and I also have 12 eggs right there which also have the numbers and I'll pick out a number I'm just picking out a random number and whatever it says I will be doing. Okay, so the number goes with an egg and what will be inside the eggs? Um, a math sum. A maths question. And okay. at the end of the video I can have a little piece of my chocolate. Oh, you're going to have a little treat at the end. Brilliant. Yes. So let's get started. I see you. Did you take a number out already? Yes, I've already taken my number out. Okay, so I just took it out when it? I was showing you. It is... Um, I think it is seven, but I'm not sure. Oh, no, I doubt it's seven, actually. Twelve. Okay, twelve. <coughs> the first question is nine times three. Nine times three. So, double nine equals eighteen. And then eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So the answer is? Twenty-seven! Very good. But I asked you nine times three and then you worked out three times nine. Why did you do that? Because it's commutative. Okay, so it gives you the same answer. Yeah. So was it easier to do it that way? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to pull out another number? Okay. Um, this is number five. <coughs> number five, okay. So number five's egg has the question, what fraction is equivalent or equal to one half, but it's out of eight? What fraction out of eight is equal to one half? Four eight. Very good, Maya. That is correct. I'm going to get another question. I mean, another number. <laughs> <laughs> another number that goes with an Easter egg. Okay. Number four. <clears throat> four. Okay, let's open up that egg number four. And the question is 18 divided by 2. Half of 18. So half of 4 equals. No, half of 8 equals 4. I just said the answer, by the way. Half of 8 equals 4, and half of 10 equals 5. So 5 plus 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. Yes. Is there another way you can work that out? 18 divided by 2 is also like asking how many 2s there are in 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, 9. <coughs> nine. Right, very good. Next one. What number do you think you're going to get now? Um, maybe 2. Okay, yes. Because I, kind of, I can kind of see this spot. Mm. So, that kind of gives me a clue. And this is... It is number 2. Very good. Number two's egg asks, what is one third of twelve? Hmm. 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 Um, what plus what plus four equals twelve and every number is the same? Ah, four. Okay, so you split it into three Yeah, equal because part. four plus four equals eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so one third of twelve equals four. Very good, Niall. Can you choose another one? Okay. What number is it? Number eleven. Cool. Egg eleven. Eleven. Okay, that egg says, what is seven times four? Hmm, seven times four. 
Oh, I got a good way. If 7 plus 7 equals 14, double 14, so 4 plus 4 equals 8, and then 10 plus 10 equals 20, so 28. 28. So instead of doing 7 times 4, again you did 4 times 7. seven. So you doubled the 7 and then you doubled yeah. it again. Very good now. I've already got my number. Okay, let's see what egg is next. 10. Are you sure? No, it might be a six. Okay, open it up and let's No, it's it. a six, it's a six. Six, okay. Egg number six. Says. Parts. What is 110 divided by 10? Oh, 100 divided by 10. 110 yes, divided I'm by 10. Yes, I'm doing 100 divided by 10 which equals 10 and then plus 1 equals 11 very good man good technique and there's also another way you can just take away the zero from 110 so 120 it would equal 12 because there's one two and then just take away the zero very good. So, so what before opening another egg since you just brought that up what is 520 divided by 10. 52. Very good. Very good. You know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's look and see what egg is next. Um, 9 or 8, I probably. Probably 8. Yes, 8. I got number 8. Okay, the next question in the next egg is what is one quarter? of one litre. Hmm, one litre is 1,000 millilitres, so half of 1,000 equals 500, and then half of 500 equals 250. So what is one quarter of one litre? 250 millilitres! Oh, very good. I wanted you to say millilitres. Yes, Correct. yes. 250 millilitres. Well done, Niall. Okay, what's the next number? Number one. Uno. Okay, what is 63 doubled? So double 63. Double 63. Um, double 60 equals 120. Double 3 equals 6. So 123. 6. 126! Very good. Ah, my brain, my brain has gone crazy. Very good, you got it correct, well done. Do you want to grab another one? We have three more after this one. Okay, so what number do you have there? Number 10. Egg number 10 says 35 divided by 5. Ooh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 7. Excellent. Good job. Next one. <laughs> oh, number 7. Number 7. Okay, so this one might sound tricky, but you need to look for find an easy way to work it out. So I want to know what 12 times 6 is. <laughs> 6 times 12 because it's commutative, is it? 6 times 12 would be the same as 12 times 6, but do you need to work it out that way? 12 times 6, so we can do 10 times 6. Okay, so do you know what 10 times 6 is? Commutative, 6 times 10, 60. Okay, so 10 times 6 is 60. How can that help, I want, before you give me the answer, how can that help us work out what 12 times 6 is? You can just add on 12. Why are you adding on 12? Because if you're doing 12 times 6 and then you do 10, times 6 equals 60, 10 plus 2 equals 12, so, so you, you have just two have to more do 2 lots of, of six. 6, 
and then two lots of six is equal to 12. Yeah. So what will the answer be if you're going to add on um, that 12? 60, 70, 72. 72. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. This is either nine or three? Nine. Is it nine? Yes, it looks like a G. Okay. <laughs> what, what temperature will it be if it is eight degrees colder than seven degrees Celsius? Minus one degrees Celsius. Celsius. Very good. How many more do you have? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's, one. let's have a look. This is, I think... What number is it? Three. Three. Great, Niall. So the last question is one half of 450 grams. Half of 50 grams equals 25 grams. Half of 400 grams equals 200 grams. So 245. 25 grams. What was that? 225 grams. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, brilliant. Well done, Niall. So you've answered all 12 questions correctly. So what time is it? Chocolate time. So happy Easter to everyone. Um, hope you enjoy Easter Sunday and the rest of Easter vacation. Bye, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now, bye! Don't forget to press the